of upstate. Some old retired cop found me, set me up for the night, gave me clothes, food. How did you even get there? Uh, I don't know. I don't understand. How are you? I, mean, I, I don't know. I just, I don't. We all grieved for you. Roland and Lindsay, we all, we all were there. We grieved for you. Roland and Lindsay, I, I know the names. I just, I don't know who they are. They're our best friends, Glenn. I can put together fragments. I just, I just can't piece together full memories yet. But I know that you are important to me. You've cheated on me with Kalesa. And then she had you killed, and she made me watch. Do you remember anything about that? I'm sorry. You need to hide. Ah, oh, Mrs. Hartman. This is Agent Hartnell of the CIA. You wouldn't mind opening the door, would you? Well, how do I know you're CIA? Just open your door and I'll gladly show you my badge. Satisfied? I'm about to leave for a tutoring session. I'm afraid I can't stay and talk. I understand, Julie. Do you mind if I call you Julie? That's fine. Now, Julie, this is a matter of the utmost importance. Could mean life or death for you. I think we ought to have a chat. Fantastic. Alongside career crime fighter the Black Canary, he toppled various Eden Spring drug rings circulating throughout the city, uprooted the Riddler's hold in Kittredge Park, and liberated the Narrows completely. Tomorrow marks the one year anniversary of the destruction of Coast City, an alien attack that ended the lives of untold thousands. The city's destruction renewed political talks about aliens entering our sovereign planet and how we can regulate who enters. Tonight on In Focus, Clive and myself will be joined by Justice League Ambassador Wonder Woman, the Daily Planet's Lois Lane, and Secretary of Metahuman Affairs. I'm afraid it's about your fiancé, Glenn Calloway. Circumstances surrounding his death were quite gloomy. But you see, we have reason to believe that he may have returned from the dead. Well, that's impossible. Is it? After all, Superman did something quite similar. Julie, your late fiancé is rather not so late. The CIA has reason to believe that Glenn Calloway is in fact alive and well. That he faked his own death and he's now on the move. So I ask you, have you noticed anything peculiar lately. Agent Hartnell, I have a history lesson that I need to go teach. In that history, there have been no cases of men coming back from the dead. Now please, I need to get going. I do apologize. I do understand as well. And, as well, do remember that it is not a good thing to lie to the CIA about an ongoing investigation. So, should anything happen, do be in touch. Ta-ta! As of this moment, all operations in GC are to cease immediately. Because of recent events in and around the city, we need to pull our agents off assignments so they can be debriefed and then retasked. All active personnel, with the exception of Overseer Lockhart, are to report to West Point within the next 24 hours. Mockingbird out. That's vexing now, isn't it? You told me last week they were at Triple D's drinking for the bachelorette party. Uh, I don't think it was a uh, uh, bachelor party. Right? He just up and vanished. No, you listen to me, Joey. You and the boys are grasping at straws here. Now I know where you get all this lying from. Way up high, a lot of them eye in the sky. The director, their command over you. Alessia, there are many times that he just plain can't be reached by the boys. And Diageo. Yeah, it feels like a, a phantasm. Do not use that word. It's bad luck. Just like that day, 
leaving me in Coast City. Shut up, Rose. Boy, there he is. There. There's the man I didn't know. Do you think this guy's Tony's right hand now? Yeah, I'm staring at him right now. He seemed to be talking to his invisible friend named Rose. I'm calling Giordana, setting up a meet. I want Tony there as well, Joey. Giaccio. Giaccio, andiamo. We got stops to make. I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't us. You're not listening to me. Who killed Nightwing? I think you're the one with the hearing problem. We didn't order the hit on Nightwing. Go ask one of your Arkham the Arkham That was unnecessary. You pull that again, you will be recalled. It's a GCPD matter now. Cadmus has no say in it. See you next week, Agent Lance. Julie, we have to talk, please. I don't have time. I'm going uptown for a case. Please, it's important. All right, come on, let's walk. I know it sounds crazy, but you have to believe me. He showed up at the door, and he was telling me all kinds of things when there was the CIA Okay, agent. okay, hold on. Let's take it back. What do you, there was a CIA agent who came up to your house? Yes. Okay, did, who was it? What was his name? Um, agent Hartnell. Okay, was there anyone else no. who saw you? No. No one else? No. Okay. We need to go, come on. Julie, here's what's gonna happen. This is a key to my apartment. The address is 13702 Tenant Drive, apartment 10D. Go straight there, do not tell anyone where you're going and wait for me, okay? Wait, where are you going? You know, I never actually thought I'd say this, but I think we need Roland's help. If Glenn is back into this world, then he needs to know about it before anyone else does. Just go to my apartment and wait for me, okay? Thank you. Of course. Don't worry. We will get through this together. Now go, okay? I'll be there soon. You couldn't handle Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, I could. She's an alien, Mikey. No way you're handling the uh, interspecies breeding stuff. She's, she's not an alien. What are you talking about? Paulie said she's from Mars. His cousin Donnie in Metropolis saw her change forms into the slimy green serpent thing. This is crazy. That's, that's Marsha Matt. She's from Themyscira, right? Them, them a what? Paradise Island? Forget it. I'll show her Paradise Island. <laughs> Gio Donald. What brings you to my side of the city? Your side? You show up 30 minutes late and ask me questions like that. Always were the funny one in the family. It's a family side for Dello. Your boy Yako? He's been causing some problems. Vanishing acts. Missing meetings. Talking to himself at length. Seems to me like he belongs in Arkham next to some of the other freaks we've been fighting our whole lives. Now, if he's talking to some invisible friends... Or maybe some not-so-invisible friends. Beds. Masks. We think somebody's been feeding info to La Caccia Tris. Nobody's stupid enough to talk to her. Look, he's half the reason we own Kittredge Park right now. Pretty soon... He's half the reason we've lost so much recently. The other half is you. You don't gotta be like that, Tony. If you get him out of our hair, then I see sunnier days for us. If not, not so sunny. If these are dangerous times, it's cops being shot, masks being shot, La Casa Atriz, get our family's house in order, or I will. You got 24 hours to turn the SS Rotelli around before it hits some rocks. Make our father Rupert proud, huh?
Winds are changing, blowing. The SS Rotelli. I like the sound of that. Lucius, sorry to call so late. Barbara Gordon. Listen, if you have the time, I have a task for you. Welcome to Cadmus, founded by the visionary director Amanda Waller and President Lex Luthor in the wake of the Coast City disaster and the Battle of Metropolis. Cadmus aims to develop weapons the weapons up. and tools necessary to safeguard human worldwide. Good work, Mom. Your surveillance gave a green light in an active engagement zone with a high priority in the area. Your intelligence is shit, Amanda. Your next assignment. Our man from the CIA, Pat Hartnell, was on this. His usefulness has run its course. Three targets, no witnesses. Do this right, Floyd, and you are one step closer to your freedom. Careful, Waller. I'm not in the mood for jokes. You're not good at them. 